So and now I would like to talk to Robert Konsky, who is president and CEO of Rest Downey uh, Resources, about yeah the specialities of the project. Robert, good morning. How are thank you, you very much. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you too. Um, yeah, I already spoke with Dave about uh, your terrific project. Let's go a bit yeah more into the de um, development side. What are next steps? What what are you planning? And of course, the permitting. Okay. So we're in the process of uh, going through uh, a, a process of reaching out to the community and explaining what we're doing. Mm -hmm. We've had over 2,000 meetings with various uh, 2, shareholders. 2,000. Wow. This ranges from one-on-one -on -one meetings with property owners mm -hmm. on properties that we drilled to um, town hall meetings to mm -hmm. town council meetings. Now, Poland is going to go through local government elections on November the 16th, mm -hmm. and obviously the uh, town councils are more active, so we're pretty much seeing them almost every day. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we're going through an environmental impact assessment. We've mm -hmm. uh, analyzed the flora and the fauna on the property. We've looked at the water table. We've looked at the analysis of the water situation, which is very crucial from the perspective of building a mine, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, our next door neighbors, a legacy mine in, in the district, had uh, very, very big issues with water. Mm -hmm. We seem to think that we have uh, a lot smaller issue with uh, water flooding into the mine. But still, why, why, why would that be? From the geological side? Reality, exactly, okay. precisely. But this mm -hmm. this is a, an issue that's raised by the communities as number one concern. Okay. What's going to happen to yeah. the water table? Yeah. What's going to happen to the drinkable water? Mm -hmm. We have to get ahead of that issue. So we're talking to them very proactively and explaining what is being done and what's how the mine is going to affect the water. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure uh, that Poland has uh, yeah very clear mining law, very clear processes how to do it, right? Indeed. Uh, yeah. Poland is a member of the European Union since 1994. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm sorry, 2004. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, obviously the laws have to be in line with the European Union requirements. It's more difficult to now explore areas of nature 2000 than, than drilling prior to mm -hmm. uh, having the European Union regime. But still, it's very prescribed and we find the law to be um, very easy to work within. We're not surprised by the, by the requirements. They're actually very prescriptive. Mm -hmm. And if you stick to the regime, your timelines do not move. Okay, um, let's come a bit to the infrastructure situation because sure. we know mines need, as you said, water, of course, but you need power, you need roads, you need railway. Um, I think you have a refinery even uh, close We're by. In a, in a very comfortable situation yeah. from that perspective. It's a very unusual project. It's two, it's less than an hour from two international airports. Oh, so um, there's a railway spur that goes over the deposit. Mm -hmm. There are roads, infrastructure in place, uh, electricity, um, water for the mine, not an issue. Mm -hmm. And obviously uh, a, a mining culture and a lot of good skills in the area. Also, we're helped by the uh, unemployment levels that are quite high in the municipality. So mm -hmm. uh, I think skilled workers ready to take on jobs will mm -hmm. not be an issue. Where do you see the time frame for the whole development? Let's assume I'm sure you get it financed because you're a member of the Hunter Dickinson Group. They are used to those amounts. That's no problem. But uh, the point is, let's assume everything goes right. You have a nice IRR. The environmental study is fine. Uh, when do you think there could be a mine? Okay. Uh, the way we're proceeding um, with all the permitting that's necessary, we're now mm -hmm. in an exploratory phase of our concession. We're going to move into exploitation side mm -hmm. of the concession should the engineering studies prove that it's mm -hmm. viable to mine. That will take... Um, 2015 and most of 2016, mm -hmm. we expect to be ready with all the permits in place by 2017 for construction. Okay. Then we'll break ground and I think uh, construction time of 18 to 24 months. Mm -hmm. So 2018, 19 is a good, uh, so let's put it that way, like four or five years from here. Well, exactly, but yeah. we're hoping to shave some time off. We've yeah. been uh, actually extremely pleased with working with the uh, Ministry of Environment, which is the mm -hmm. concession uh, granting authority. Um, our expectation of their timeline, um, actually, we've uh, exceeded the timeline. Mm -hmm. so Great. I'm very happy with that. Fantastic. I think you uh, raised uh, lately also some money. So what, yes, is, what is cash in the bank? Because these days, you know, exploration funds dried up. Uh, are market, you able to go market, through the whole thing? We were able to raise eight and a half million. Wow, that's uh, a lot. It's, it's sufficient to yeah. get us through most of the studies that need to be taken in the mm -hmm. next uh, year, year and a half. Okay, super. So you don't, you, let's say before the end of 2015, you, you don't need money. That's correct. And that's important. So we hope that the market clears off uh, next year. <laughs> well, we're hoping for an improved market and we're hoping for zinc prices to go up. But yeah, uh, yeah. we're going to proceed on uh, with the resource and we're mm -hmm. going to continue extending our licenses. We're going to continue negotiations or mm -hmm. conversations with existing infrastructure holders in the region. And mm -hmm. uh, as, as you mentioned, there is a smelter next door, about mm -hmm. 30 kilometers from our deposit. 
there is a, 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 um, all the infrastructure facilities there, uh, we might be uh, able to benefit from that infrastructure, existing mining infrastructure, in mm -hmm. place, which then would uh, shave some time off the, uh, the project and perhaps improve the IRR. Oh, definitely. I'm sure about that when you save those costs also. Um, I've, I read something uh, about your neighbors also. I think your neighbors started the same way like you guys have it now, like 20 million tons. Now they are well over 100 million tons. That's, that's Is this something like we can say maybe it's com a bit comparable to your situation? Uh, we hope so. The, yeah. the neighbors next door, uh, ZGHB as we call them, uh, have been there since the 1950s. Mm -hmm. And their last mine, which is just running out of ore in the next two, three years, they're announcing that Philly, has been in operations for over 40 years. Well, that's a long time. And they yeah. went down with a 20 million deposit and uh, actually mined 100 million, like you said. Wow. So it's yeah. uh, uh, a great prospect because we're in the same district. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so why, why shouldn't geology uh, change immediately? Why should, we, <laughs> why should we be less lucky? Exactly, exactly. Fantastic. Um, last question. How many shares do you have out so far? And who are your largest shareholders? And of course, what is management's share? We have uh, 118 million shares outstanding. Mm -hmm. um, our largest shareholders are from the Middle East, from China. Mm -hmm. uh, and management at this stage uh, has 7% um, of the project. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Any um, yeah, institutions out of Canada or Europe even or whatever? Uh, yes, we have European and Canadian institutions. We have uh, American as well and mm -hmm. uh, um, even Polish. Even Polish ones. Very good, very good. And of course, some retailers, that's for sure. And of course, yeah. some retailers. Great, fantastic. Well, Robert, then thank you very much uh, for the interview. Thank and you also very thanks much. to Dave. <laughs> and yeah, we wish you all the best for that. And uh, we look forward, uh, hopefully, to give uh, soon a good update about your company and with the progress. Looking forward to that. Great. Thank you, Robert. Thanks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was Robert Konski, the president and CEO of Rest Downy Resources. And as you uh, saw before, Dave Copeland, I spoke also with, well, Zinc is hot, zinc market is coming, it is in a supply deficit, that's very important when the underlying is in a deficit. And even as Dave said, uh, until 2020, uh, it is estimated um, that this uh, continues with the deficit, so prices should be at least stable if not going higher. And uh, what I find really interesting is they have a resource by now since September 2012 of 21.4 million tons with 7.4% zinc equivalent. And also metallurgy looks very favorable and uh, yeah, as you heard from Robert, the neighbor is uh, went up to 100 million tons. So we keep fingers crossed that this uh, works the same way. And uh, I think it's worthwhile to check out the company. Have a look at it. Thanks and bye-bye from Munich.